Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley, reporting from South Jackson, Tennessee, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Turned out to be a sort of a cloudy, gloomy day today, even though we had peaks of sun early uh, this morning and even had a few little light uh, sprinkles floating around West Tennessee this evening, but the radar is showing them disappearing, so it won't be too much longer before the skies will clear up, probably give or take around 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, if not sooner. I'll show you that on the satellite picture in just a moment. Uh, otherwise, uh, yesterday's climate data, I'll go ahead and give you that one since I did uh, miss yesterday's report. Uh, yesterday's the low temperature for April the 13th was 52 degrees. Uh, yesterday's high was 60 degrees. And I had uh, a whopping uh, 2.22 inches of rainfall here in the Bemis area yesterday, which, by the way, uh, broke the record reddest uh, rainfall record for April 13th. The old record was uh, 2.05. Uh, made in uh, 2004 and broken in 2019. So we had 2.22 inches of rainfall here in Bemis uh, yesterday, and that was became the reddest April 13th on record for here in Bemis, which records go back uh, about to 1994 for here in Bemis. All right, uh, on to the day. Uh, go ahead and give you the highest wind gust yesterday. Uh, that was uh, 26 miles per hour out of the east at, uh, I don't know, forgot the time here. It looks like uh, oh, around 8 p.m. Uh, that occurred around 8 p.m. last night, uh, east at 26 miles per hour. All right, on to today's uh, climate data. Uh, by the way, we did have some severe weather around us yesterday, but uh, none technically here in West Tennessee. Most of it was down in uh, Mississippi, now in, down in Alabama, and they did have a few tornado warnings on down into parts of Mississippi and Alabama, but uh, there was some damage in a few uh, cities down in those states, but uh, it all bypassed or went south of Jackson and most of West Tennessee. We kind of got a little lucky on that one, thank goodness. But today it's been uh, kind of cloudy and cool. All right, on to the climate data as of 5 p.m. Today it was cloudy and the temperature at that time was 46 degrees. And it looks like as of 6.07 p.m. it's uh, 47 degrees right now here in the Bemis area. Uh, the uh, high today was 68 degrees. <laughs> it did not happen in the daytime hours, obviously. That was uh, after midnight is when that occurred. Matter of fact, I believe it was around 1 a.m., 1.30 in the morning, something like that, when it got uh, that warm. Uh, again, it was 68 degrees. Let me double check, make sure I read that right. Uh, yep, sure was. Around 1.30 a.m. last night is when it was that warm. All right, otherwise, we had a little bit more rain again uh, after midnight. Uh, that also fell during the 1 a.m. hour, I think. Uh, 17 hundredths of an inch of rain fell during that time frame. And I believe it had a little bit early this morning during the 9 a.m. hour, too. Uh, between both of them, uh, it was about 17 hundredths of an inch here in the Bemis area. All right, uh, the highest wind gust for today was 35 miles per hour, fairly windy there, out of the southwest, and that occurred at 9.51 uh, a.m. this morning. Now, to records for today, April the 14th. By the way, let me give you yesterday's snowfall. Well, I'll give that to you in just a second. I'll go ahead and give you the normal records for April the 14th for right now. Hottest high would be 90 degrees. Yep, we're getting a few of those 90 degrees for hottest highs. Now, that's slowly going into spring like we are. 90 degrees, when that happened, it's just two years ago, 2017. Pretty warm two years ago <laughs> today compared to today's, uh, well, actually 68 degrees for a high. But uh, still pretty good little difference there. All right, uh, coolest high would be 43 in 1980. 
uh, warmest low would be 70 in 1972, while the coldest low would be 27 in uh, 1950 and 1997. Rainfall record for today, we did not break today's like we broke yesterday's. Today's rainfall record was 2.39 inches and fell in last year, 2018. One year ago today, we had 2.39 inches of rainfall. That's kind of ironic. Yesterday, we had uh, 2.22 inches of rain. Uh, but, oh well, that's the way it happens sometimes. 2.39 again in the year 2018. No snowfall record uh, for today. It probably won't be any more for the rest of the year until we get back into next uh, winter time. However, yesterday's uh, snowfall record for April 13th was uh, 4 inches, and that happened in 2004, and that happens to be the latest, largest uh, snowfall record uh, on record for the Bemis area since 1994. It was one of the latest ones, and that's when it occurred on uh, April the 13th of uh, 2004. Alrighty, that basically covers the climate data for the evening, the basic stuff I'd like sharing with you. I'll show you a few graphs now, and uh, that'd be it for the evening. Well, you know, it's not really too bad looking this evening, more cloudy than anything, and soon will be clear. Uh, at least fair anyways. Let me get my camera to where uh, it will stretch far enough to to get it over. I think I'm going to have to overlap a wire back there. I'll worry about that when I get the video done. <laughs> uh, maybe be good enough for the time being. As you can see, you can see the showers that was trying to form back around the 4 o'clock hour and just passed over Jackson. Uh, Might have been a few sprinkles during the 4 o'clock hour, but they're all gone now. And it probably will be gone for the rest of the evening. They dissipated pretty quick there. And uh, let me branch out just a little bit more. Uh, let me get a little slightly wider view. Most of the heavier measurable rain is over in Middle Tennessee now. But it's east of Nashville. Over toward Cookville. And on down toward Winchester. And uh, slowly approaching Chattanooga. And over that parts of uh, Tennessee now. Let me see if I can move it over some to get a better look at Tennessee as a whole. Ah, there's where the thunderstorms are. They're over in East Tennessee, actually in the, uh, parts of North Carolina now, right along the Appalachian Mountains, uh, east of there, Knoxville, and uh, pretty heavy over there in parts of uh, East Tennessee and North Carolina, but they're all moving away from Tennessee, uh, period. It'll be out of Tennessee probably with the next, next couple hours or so. And of course, it's well gone for east of us, of course. But, uh, but basically over with for us here in Jackson. The rain pretty much is over and the clouds are just about gone. All right, uh, let's look at the uh, satellite picture. Uh, I brought up the southeastern portion of the country. As you can see, there's a few high thin clouds going by us now. The thicker clouds is way over there in East Tennessee, and a little devil strip there in East Tennessee, and thicker ones on over in North Carolina. Of course, they're moving on off the coast, and a little narrow, a bit, th thin area of clouds moving through West Tennessee now. But you can see the clearing line's not too far west of Jackson now. It may be as close as Brownsville, Tennessee, so it won't be too much longer before the skies clear up here. No later than, I say, 9 o'clock here. Otherwise, it's good and clear across the southeast in general. Uh, the panhandle of Florida is clear down there, and the southern half of Florida looks clear down there. A few more clouds over here, they probably will one by will fast overnight, but not cause no problem uh, in that regard. It might be a little cool tomorrow morning. It just has been kind of cool today so far. All right, let's move on to the current uh, surface map, thanks to uh, the Weather Channel. And it shows, uh, as you can see, a low-pressure system um, over northern uh, Kentucky and Indiana area. The little stretches of rain coming to the stretch south. You see that cold front uh, where it's at. 
And there's something else I want to do. Let's see if I can get it to do right. And now that's the wrong way. Hold on. I had it right to begin with. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me see. Let me hold the camera up a little bit better. Maybe you can see it. There's snow up there in parts of the Great Lakes, especially in Wisconsin, Michigan, and on up into Canada. There's some rain up there in the northeastern states. It stretches on down south along the eastern seaboard. I think it's almost the only rain in the country except right here in the Pacific Northwest. And it's light out there, looks like. All right. That's, again, the current surface map across the nation this evening. Let's look at the uh, forecast map for tomorrow nationwide. Uh, looks like uh, tomorrow morning, Monday morning, the map looks like this. Uh, clear here in West Tennessee of precipitation at least, probably of clouds too. High pressure there you see down in Louisiana, Mississippi area. Uh, there's that low up there in the northeast causing snow north of it, rain around it mainly. And there's that front along the eastern seaboard moving on eastward. Uh, there's a warm front trying to approach our area by tomorrow, even though it's mainly in Missouri, but there you see it. A little rain out west, but nothing major, nothing big. A little snow way up there in Montana. Other than that, the nation's fairly clear tomorrow morning. Cool. All right, let's look at uh, Monday Midday's uh, map. And this shows about the same thing. The systems move maybe just a little bit. High pressure down around New Orleans taking care of us. There you see the system off the eastern coast. And there you see the other systems out west. Several highs and lows together. <laughs> and a little precipitation out west, of course. That's again for midday tomorrow. Let's move on to tomorrow evening's uh, forecast map. And minor adjustments to the systems mainly. Uh, high pr two high pressures now. Uh, East Tennessee, North Carolina, and down in, uh, well, southern Alabama, uh, down in the Gulf of Mexico a little bit. And that high pre low pressure still up in the northeast part of the country is moving offshore. And uh, fairly dry in a good, uh, good part of the country. Very little precipitation except for out west. There you see where all the highs and lows are. And again, that's for tomorrow evening. All right. Let me move on to the detailed forecast for the local area here in Jackson and uh, West Tennessee. Uh, let me turn my camera around so I can kind of read it to you. Let me make a little minor adjustment so I can make sure I got to aim right. Uh, yeah, doing pretty good. Make one more adjustment here. Alright, uh, basically like I said already, it's going to be mostly clear or cloudy at the moment. But clearing fairly soon within the next couple hours here in Jackson, if not sooner. and be fair for the rest of Sunday night on into Monday, mostly fair Monday, uh, and generally fair Tuesday, uh, and I'll give you an idea. The rain's almost over. It is over basically here in Jackson. It will be statewide probably within a couple hours. All right, uh, the moon uh, rose today at 2.11 p.m., be setting tomorrow morning at 3.30 a.m. Uh, mostly clear skies on Monday, low of 37. Yeah, 37 degrees. Uh, we have uh, a little chilly morning coming up tomorrow, but it should warm up very nicely to about 70 degrees for tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow. Well, southwest winds about 5 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow. The sun will be coming up at about 6.22 a.m., setting tomorrow evening at 7.27 p.m. The moon will be rising tomorrow evening at 3.21 p.m. and set uh, Tuesday morning at uh, 4.14 a.m. Again, fair skies also on Tuesday, low of 51, high of 78, with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And uh, let me check one more thing real quick that I just thought to... Uh, that I forgot to bring up. And let me see if I can find it real fast and I'll share it with you. I think it's a frost advisory for parts of the area tomorrow morning. Uh, Madison County is included. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me show you this little bit of map and then I'll look up the time for it real quick. 
This blue area there you see right here is for Frost Advisory uh, for parts of West Tennessee tomorrow morning. 37 degrees with clear skies and the calm winds will be cold enough to create some light frost, scattered frost tomorrow morning. Won't be nothing heavy and it will be above freezing so that help a little bit. But you see Madison County is included. There you see the other counties, Chester, Henderson, Decatur, uh, Benton, Carroll, Gibson, Crockett, Dyer, Lake, O'Brien, Weekly, and Henry counties. All the counties are included in the Frost Advisory for tomorrow morning. And it stretches on up into Kentucky as well. Uh, let me see if I find out the exact timing on that real quick. Uh, it'll tell me. Let me see. Now click on that and then I'll go on to the back to the forecast which uh, is delaying at the moment let me try it again uh, the timing is for 1 a.m. tomorrow morning till 8 a.m. tomorrow morning 1 a.m. tonight till 8 a.m. tomorrow morning for the frost advisory Alrighty, uh, that's the timing that the uh, best chances for having frost uh, overnight after midnight to about uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Alright, I thought I'd go ahead and show you that. Back to the other forecast, I'm down to Wednesday now. Uh, mostly cloudy skies will return on Wednesday till noon, then becoming fair. Low of 57, high of 76 by Wednesday. By the way, remember, it's going to get about 80 degrees for high tomorrow, despite the low of 36 or so tomorrow morning. It's not expected to hit freezing, but that's, that's getting close. All right, that's again for tomorrow morning. Uh, on Thursday, uh, mostly cloudy skies. That's our next best chance for some showers and thunderstorms on Thursday, 40% by Thursday night. Low of 63, high of 71, with southwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Looks like uh, next Friday, fair till noon. Then uh, mostly cloudy with a small 40% chance of uh, afternoon showers and then back to fair skies by Friday night. Low of 49, high of 57, with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Next weekend, especially a little special since Hall uh, Halloween, my goodness, uh, Easter is coming up uh, next weekend. Uh, next Saturday, April 20th, fair skies, low of 46, high of 65, west winds at 10 to 20, and Easter Sunday. Well, I know a lot of churches uh, have uh, early morning services next Sunday morning. Uh, probably should be good weather. Right now, Easter Sunday, looks like mostly clear skies, a low of 45, a little cool, but it should warm up to about 78, which would be ideal. With uh, south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour, and the sun rises at 616 on, on Easter Sunday morning uh, for sunrise services, in case you decide to go to one of your choice there. And the sun sets at 733 next Sunday night. Alrighty. I think that we'll pretty much cover it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching and viewing and subscribing and leaving some occasional nice comments. And uh, uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow night. And until then, good night and may God bless you.